Hi, it's Don Southerton, and the weekly episode of Everything Korea this week is a sneak peek. Tesla, Korea, behind the mystique. Let's go ahead and get started. In 2008, I was living in La Jolla, California. On Sunday mornings, an automotive upstart would bring their red roadster to the beach town's popular oceanfront park for folks to test drive the car. Now, I recall it sort of grabbing my attention as it quietly zoomed up the hill. It was an electric car. You know, for one working with OEM design teams at the time, I felt the design was really sharp. It was also cool, too. Torque was considerable, and acceleration immediate, with no lag. Now, sometime later, I learned that that was one of the traits of the electric powertrains. The car was a Tesla. Fast forward another 10 years, and Tesla has challenged the automotive business model, not only here, but internationally. This is a preview of a forthcoming article I have on Tesla Korea 2017. Let's go ahead and get started. In crafting my, uh, this article, my lens was cultural. I stopped short of how I would sustain their unique position in the Korean market. Even as though, though as a consultant, you know, <clears throat> that's what I provide strategies and roadmaps. You know, it's, it's what I do. Let's go ahead and get started. Tesla Korea behind the mystique. In a recent Branding in Asia article, which I've embedded in here, I made the point that in the wake of the car trade imbalance, one American brand may break the Korean preference for imports uh, now held by the German automakers. And that brand, I believe, is Tesla. You know, why? Well, one, Korean consumers are increasingly looking to buy green, environmentally friendly vehicles. Substantial government subsidies and incentives have driven up sales both for the domestic Korean car makers uh, with their hybrids, plug-ins, and electric cars, as well as imports. Two, the demand continues for a more luxurious class of cars in Korea, imported cars. Now, for that, you know, in the past it's been brands, you know, that we know a lot of, you know, for example, Mercedes and, you know, Audi and Lexus and Jag and Porsche. Additionally, the supercars, you know, Aston Martin, Maserati, uh, you know, uh, Ferrari, Rolls-Royce, Bentley, Lamborghini, and Bugatti. Now, from a cultural perspective, consumables can tell us a lot about a society. The demand for luxury, premium goods, and products has gone hand-in-hand -hand with upward mobility, especially in Korea. Now, although some Koreans have shown concern over the desire for pricey goods in the, in the eyes of many Koreans and their consumers, the more expensive and rare, the more desirable the brand. Consumers in Korea equate value with a high price tag. So, fits well with Tesla. All in all, Tesla captures what we're seeing folding as an ever-growing demand for upmarket goods and products. <clears throat> My third point about Tesla today is that in a culture that also sees conformity embodied, many feel the need to differentiate themselves. This need to differentiate is what Tesla captures so well, not only in home markets like U.S., but globally. That said, with consumer interest high in Korea for the Tesla, six months waits for test drives and three months on delivery, Tesla's mystique may be what is needed for an American automotive brand to truly thrive in South Korea. This is Don Southerton wishing you all the best. Look forward for, to my article, the more in-depth, I'll, I'll drill a lot deeper. Take care.